one. All right, we now welcome on to Inside TBT, a couple of Xavier alumni and now leading the way for Everline Drive, J.P. McCura and Kaiser Gates. Gentlemen, welcome on to the show. How's it going? And thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Of course. We are very excited to have you guys on the show, just as I'm sure that you guys are excited that you're going to be playing basketball here in a couple weeks. Very For the first nice. time in I don't know how long. It's been a while. So how did you guys – obviously, you guys were college teammates, but how did you guys find your way to Eberline Drive specifically? I'll go first. Um, go ahead. Matt, Matt reached out to me quite a bit on Instagram. And honestly, I didn't really know much about it or I didn't do any research back then. And then kind of when the, the virus came around, I was like, I really need to play basketball. And I talked to my agent and I hit him up and I was like, I'm in. Pretty simple. No, yeah. For me, it was more so, I think mine was more so through JP really. Like um, my agent had hit me up after JP, I guess hit up Aaron and um. He was like, hey, JP playing um, in this TBT tournament. Like, the team will uh, like you to come play, too. I'm like, uh, you know, I, I haven't played best one month. I'm, I'm definitely down, too. So, my mom was right through JP. I guess the follow-up question to that is, how good a shape are you guys in right now? Are you ready to play basketball? I, I'm not at the moment, but I'm trying to get there. <laughs> I, I've been just, I just got back into the gym, so I'm, I'm slowly making my way. No, I, I've been in the gym. I think I'm – I'm in good basketball shape right now. I'll get there, though. What, is, you, what, is, what has been your access to the gym like throughout, you know, quarantine? Do you guys have a hoop to, to, to shoot at, or was it just, like, all on your own in a basement prison style? I mean, there's some, but, like, I have a sport court in my house, like my parents' house, but you can't – you can work out, I guess, a little bit, but I don't want to go full speed because I don't want to wipe out. Um, but there's some gyms opening up now that – I'm starting to get into lifetimes open back up. So it's been a little bit more easy to get to, into a gym. So a, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of potential draft picks playing in this. And then there's a lot of players like yourselves. Are you guys more in this for the potential grand prize? Or are you trying to kind of showcase your skills a little bit at this stage of your careers? I'd say both. Honestly, um, 100%. But I think it's a great opportunity for us because it's the only thing that's going to be on at the moment um, for basketball wise. So I think it's a good opportunity for us to showcase our skill set. And then if we happen to win, take home a bunch of cash would be great too. <laughs> Guys, are you exactly. laughing over there? What are you thinking? I mean, the exact same thing JP was thinking. I mean, just a great time to, like he said, kind of showcase yourself. It's the only thing on right now, so a lot of people are going to be tuned in watching. And then, like you said, if we play well enough and win, then it's always nice to go home with a little bit of extra money. More than a, more than a little bit of extra money. More than a little bit of extra money. But, <laughs> but <laughs> more than a little bit. Um, you know, this is your guys' first, first experience, correct? So um, is there any team or individual player that you guys are like, I, I really want to get a chance at playing them? Honestly, I don't really know – all the teams like I just I really only know ours and I looked up Ohio State and Marquette just because their team yeah. actually have a school team um but other than that I don't, Syracuse I don't, does too P. huh Syracuse has one too oh I didn't I didn't even pay attention to them there's either. a lot of there's a lot of alumni teams it's like half and half alumni yeah. teams and and together teams and I mean yeah I haven't I haven't really done too much research I only know like our team well, Tuesday, when this comes out, when the bracket is released, it'll be time to do some more research, JP. I'll tell you that. For sure. For sure. I will. I'll scout the guys. <laughs> and Kaiser, this, though. You, don't, you don't know what you don't know. That's good. <laughs> exactly. So, obviously, you guys have played together, and I'm sure you're psyched to get back on the court, share the court. But who else <laughs> from your team are you guys excited to get a chance to play with? I mean, I want to play with Josh because he's a great point guard. And I think yeah. he's the floor very well. And he's a great team player, so I'm excited for that. But honestly, I've seen a lot of those guys play. Um, Dusty looks like he can get buckets, so I'm excited to play with him as well. Yeah, I think uh, Josh, he lit us up this year. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> it'll be nice to be on the other end of that, like, you know, ha having him on my team as opposed to going against him. So that I think that'll be fun to play with, obviously, JP. Um, yeah, I feel like we got a pretty good group of guys all around to be on 50. So I'm, I'm excited to play with everybody. I'm I know you guys aren't too – oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just saying I'm excited to get back on the court. <laughs> no, it worked. And I think uh, I speak for everyone when, uh, as fans, we're just excited to see some that orange ball bounce on the floor. It, doesn't, it almost doesn't matter who's out there, you know? Sure. Um, but I guess you guys, you're not too familiar with, you know, the other teams that are going on until Tuesday when you, when you, you know, when it's finalized. How familiar are you with the, just the setup of a TBT game in general, whether it's um, the style of play, um, the Elam ending, you know, how familiar are you guys with that stuff? I mean, I just look at it like March Madness, honestly. So I think the style of play might be a little bit different. Um, I think March yeah. Madness might be a little bit more organized. But I actually don't know. So I just got to figure that out when we get there. I've heard some teams was, uh, like, playing, like, pickup type games. Some teams, like, have plays and stuff. Like, I don't know if pickup uh, gets you too far, but we'll – I have no clue. I have no clue. What I'm, the pickup team. Well, one last year was it Scarlet? Yeah, well, it was Scarlet Gray, but their new name is Carmen's Crew. But they did win last year. Yeah, and I think they beat the uh, the Marquette alumni team in the finals. And I think they, you, I think your guys' team was in the Final Four last year, if I'm not for sure. But in 2000, no, you were Elite Eight last year, and in 2018, you guys were the runner up. So you got you got some big shoes to fill this year. Oh yeah, we're ready. You want to hear a uh, a crazy stat? Let's hear it. In 2014, Sp Sports <laughs> Illustrated called Eberline Drive the worst team in TBT 2014. You know what's good? <laughs> it's not 2014 anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Six years later, yeah. here we are as one of the favorites. Yeah. I think hat hats off to the GM right there. I like it. What a fun stat that was. <laughs> You guys are kind of like – What was on that team? Um, well, Sports Illustrated said it was just a group of friends. So, I don't know <laughs> if I could find I, – I feel like it might have been a couple of guys like Joey and I on that team. Oh, we're on the same level? For TBT, we're on the same level. Uh, but, ne negative, Ghost Rider. But I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, how the games end in I'm TBT. Not. Is it special? It Very is special. Fun. It yeah. is special. So – it's something called the Elam ending, which you guys should probably – JP, you got to do some research on this, all right? It's, yeah, called, I got it's called the Elam ending, and it's actually how the NBA All-Star game ended this year. Okay. Oh. Where they add points to the end, and then Kyle Lowry takes a bunch of charges, and then yeah. whichever team has the most charges yeah, that'll be the game. No, so, so basically okay. it's like this. Eight points get added to the winning team when the clock expires. And then whoa, you, whoa. Hold on. Eight points get added to the winning team's score. And under, then you guys the keep first, the first, after the first timeout under four minutes. So like the last war, right? When that timeout comes, you add eight points to the winning team score. And then it's a race to get to that. So it's like playing to 21 and pickup, it's the same kind of deal. There's a set score. So like if it's 80 to 80, first team to oh. 88 wins. There's no more clock. Okay. So that's all it is. So, so and, it's, and there's all different strategies that go into that. So, so if it's 70 to 80, it's still first to 88? Yep. Yes. So that, that's, that's, you know, that's there's an advantage that's, of winning yeah. the under, under, under <laughs> JP, you don't go. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, every, every game ends on a game-winning shot, which is really cool. So my question to you guys, it's we 80. Don't know, we don't know who's taking the shot. <laughs> well, there you go. That we sounds, like, that sounds like someone who's out. not taking the shot right there. We got to figure it out. I might launch it from half. <laughs> that might be the highest percentage shot. We were talking to – do you guys know that Marshall plays like a crazy different style of basketball? Yeah. We were talking to some guys from Marshall. Play Marshall. They were like, that might be the highest percentage shot if we, if we need a three. So, you're not alone. You can't get one off. Just launch it from half. Do you, do you think uh, if you guys win this tournament, do you think the trophy should go in the Xavier trophy case as well as the TBT trophy case? Might as well. We got two players. So, well, LSU too, but. Oh There's well. a couple of Alabama guys too, right? It's all right. We'll take it. Who went to Alabama? Didn't Dusty, no, Ar Dusty Hands went to Arkansas, right? Yeah, he went to Arkansas. Um, 
someone I, Josh yeah no, Josh, oh no Josh went to like Huntsville or something yeah. right like Alabama yeah. Huntsville Division two like legend that. you guys yeah. are kind of like a kind of like a ragtag team you're kind of like the Avengers I hear people are calling you the Avengers of TBT that's we'll what I'm hearing it. we'll take it so which, uh, which Avengers would you guys choose? I want to be Thor. Ooh. I don't even know all the Avengers, honestly. You got a lot of research to do on a lot of different you're things. Watching, you're watching Uncut Gems when you could be watching any Avengers movie? Yeah, I might have to turn it on because Uncut Gems is awful. <laughs> I recommend Spider-Man. That's, that's my favorite Avengers movie. What, the most recent one? Yeah. So far from home. That was a good uh-huh. one. I'm gonna put you guys. I'm gonna put you guys on the spot right here. You ready? Uh-oh. Obviously, when you were teammates, there was stuff in each other's games that you might not have loved. So, what are you hoping that the other one no longer does on the court and has corrected? It? <laughs> um, he'll probably say defense about me, but I've become a better defender <laughs> over the years, so. That's no longer an issue. Um, for him, I can't really think of anything, honestly. I, wow. I haven't think about it. Like, I play my role for the most part. Yeah. If he's not making um, it, I don't know why you put him out there, then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Nah, JP, yeah. Um, I would have said defense, but he's definitely improved that a lot, a lot the last two years from what I've seen playing against him and everything. So can't really say too much, to be honest. I appreciate it. That's so sweet of you guys. Such great teammates. (laughs) That's my brother for real. (laughs) Well, obviously there's going to be a lot of good chemistry out on the court. Are you nervous about not really getting a whole lot of practices with the guys and kind of just having to throw it all together? Uh, Uh, I mean, everybody's in the same position, really. So I'm not really too worried about that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really nervous at all, but I'm just excited to get out there and actually start playing basketball again. Can you pitch to us, both of you guys, why we should be Everline Drive fans this summer and why you guys are taking home the grand prize? Um, I think we have a great roster, and we have some phenomenal players at each position. There you go. <laughs> and our mystery is somehow is going to be phenomenal. Then, we, then we're gonna have a lot of a lot of uh, we're gonna have a few highlight plays this year, something to give, something to share for you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, Josh is yeah, gonna catch a lot lob. of good play. You said what? Josh is gonna catch a lob on somebody's head. I'm feeling it. It's what about? I get one, JP. What about if you're talking to to Z, what do you guys call Xavier fans? Musketeer Nation or something? What are they? X Nation. <laughs> Sure, all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. What are you all telling Musketeer Nation about Everline Drive? And besides the fact that you guys are on the team, why should they be rooting for you guys? Or is that the only reason why? That's the only reason. Yeah, hey, what, what have they got the root for us for? They definitely should tune in instead of watching, like, NASCAR or something. I don't even know. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of Xavier, um, I didn't want to bring this up necessarily, but, like, did you guys, do you guys remember – playing Ohio State in uh, the preseason close scrimmage, secret scrimmage? Yeah. I don't remember it, honestly, but. Uh, that was your uh, junior year, PJ. That's all. My junior year? No, your senior year. I don't remember much. <laughs> that was your senior Only year. because, JP, you had like a bum ankle or something, I think. And um, we had one of our guys who barely played was talking, uh, talking some smack to you. And you turned around and had the best line in my four years of college basketball in terms of smack talk, which was, will you shut up? And this is not the exact words because there was some profanity. Will you shut up? I don't even know who you are. In a secret (laughs) scrimmage, in a secret scrimmage with no – you can hear every word that's said the whole time on the court. And us on the bench, specifically at the end of the bench where the coaches can't hear us, were literally laughing so hard we put our hands on our faces and had to, like, turn around. Yeah, I sounds like some something JP would say. I probably didn't know who he was. <laughs> I don't know why you would. It was just very, it, it was just very just 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 know that it resonates with more than just the guy you're telling. That's that, that it, it was good. That's funny. J- JP, you've had some funny lines over the years. 
a few. I, I went to uh, I went to Mizzou. Okay, and you ruined one of the greatest moments, potentially one of the greatest moments of my college career is that early season tournament, Mizzou Xavier twenty sixteen, the overtime game. You remember it? No, but inform me. Oh well, my god! Uh, what's it called? Um, I remember it. I wasn't even playing. That was my freshman year. Yeah. I'm looking at the stats. You were not – you did not play. <laughs> but, JP, you played – you had 19 points. You played 42 minutes. How do you not remember this game? I don't o- know. Overtime against Mizzou, Terrence Phillips got called for, like, a weird offensive foul, and, and they took the points away, and you beat Mizzou 83-82. That was almost one of the coolest moments of my college career, ruined by you. So, thank you. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Andrew, he doesn't remember – he doesn't remember games because he played – these guys played in all of the games, unlike me, who I played in one out of every five games. So, like, <laughs> I remember them all, you know, whereas they got, they got too many games. Like, I can count how many points I scored because it's only on, you know, a couple of hands, you know. Yeah, so, you, they – You kind of just move on to the next one right away. Yeah, exactly. Me, like, I, I, I get five games to celebrate before, <laughs> I, before I have to go back in, you know, so <laughs> – JP and Kaiser, I'll ask you the same thing so you can go look in the meantime. Do you know what the first picture that comes up is when you Google yourself? Mm, no, maybe my mugshot. I don't know. <laughs> is, that, is that really what you think it is? No, I actually don't know what it, what it would be. It's you in a Cavs jersey, which is very cool that that's what comes up. Oh, that's nice. Kaiser, <laughs> what, what do you think comes up for you? Um, I have no clue. Not the slightest. It's you in a it's you in a Celtics jersey, just as cool. You for sure Google yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I would have guessed red claws to be honest with you. There is a red claws, and there's a uh, Windy City Bulls picture. I think I went to a game when you were playing on the Windy City Bulls. How was that? Did we win or lose? Um, I think you. You're supposed won. to say I don't remember, Andrew. <laughs> I don't remember, but I think you won. It was a good game. Have you guys have you guys played each other since you were at Xavier? Yeah. yeah. When? In Both Vegas. Years. And I lit them up in Vegas. Did you? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we won the game, didn't we? Yeah, but I had 15 in the first quarter. <laughs> What'd you do after that? What'd you say? What'd you do after that? I had 21. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember you remember oh, your damn. You remember your exact stats in that loss, but you don't remember the Mizzou overtime game, which was a win. What a I, odd I only remember scenario. It I, was, I was playing a former teammate. That's the only reason why. Yeah, there's nothing, I remember, there's nothing notable about that. No, nah, the JP, the only thing I remember about that game is um, right at the end of the first quarter, I got switched out on you. And you, you, know, what I'm ta- you know what play I'm talking about? Yeah, I, I cashed it from the top of the key. Yes. <laughs> I remember. Like, I know I'm about to hear about it from somebody. <laughs> I got I got a question for both of you guys about your on court style, and I'll start with Kaiser. Uh, do you still wear the ninja headbands? <laughs> they banned those, actually. But like, and sometimes workouts it will. But sometimes, like, I switch over to the different headbands. Like, it doesn't have the um little things that hang, but it's still like the same material. It's still like the tennis style one where they like push your hair up and stuff. Yeah, the other one gives me headaches for some reason. The regular one. Yeah. Well, I, it's so funny because I used to joking around would wear headbands and workouts at sometimes, and it really does. It g- gave me a headache too. If you're not yeah, used to it, like, it is kind of like tight on your head. Obviously, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're just soft. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not going for that. <laughs> Could be it. Wait, but my follow-up question for JP is. I ha- I haven't seen the sleeves in a long time. Are they coming back out in the TBT? Honestly, probably not. It gets way too hot. <laughs> Why so did I'm- you wear sleeves in the first place? Because it was cold? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. I'm about to start a petition for you to wear them again. No, you need to get, like, a medical note. Oh, like really? A- yeah, because I had eczema on my, like, arms and legs, so I, like, got a medical note, and they let me wear long sleeves. Okay, that's valid. But well, there's no rule against the ninja headbands for TBT, just so you know. What'd you say? What'd you say? 
I said, there's no rules. Well, I guess there's no rules for the long sleeves either, to my knowledge, but there's definitely no rules against the ninja headband. So you can bring that oh, back. Oh, then I'll be bringing it back out. I yes. was in the long sleeve. For the, uh, for the you listeners. Go, you wear the ninja headband with me? Maybe, honestly. I'm going to bring you one. All right. <laughs> yes. For the listeners who are wondering why this interview is not like a traditional interview, it's because it's just a couple of bros being dudes right here. Just four guys, exactly. all, all about the same age, getting ready to watch some hoops and play some hoops this summer. So that's why you're getting just a relaxed, chill interview right here. And I think this might be one of my favorite interviews ever. I don't know about you, Joe. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how do they usually go? No, I think it depends. It depends on the guys because, you know, a lot of guys are – they aren't expecting – you know, we don't – we're not the traditional interviewers, you know. We're not – we're not here to ask the hard questions and, like, hear about your life story and stuff. We're more so asking you about your style on the court and trying to get you guys to smile, you know. So – Basically shooting the shit. Exactly. That's exactly – We're going to have to – we're going to have to beep that out. That's all right. (laughs) No yeah, that's too far. That's that's too casual. No worries. No, but but it depends. We've had guys who who aren't into it, you know, and then we have to kind of change shift gears. But then at the same time, like we had like John Elmore on, and he was all about it. So we were just like shooting the shit with him for like thirty minutes straight, just like this, you know. So it just depends. We have to beep that out too. Yeah, yeah. we'll beep that out. A question I do have for you guys though, so. Something that's really cool about TBT is there's guys of all ages playing in it. You know, if, if Joey was playing in it, he'd potentially be going up against Aaron Kraft, who is one of his favorite players growing up. Are there any guys like that for you that are either either in TBT or you've played at any level that you were like, damn, I grew up, like, idolizing this guy, and now I'm guarding him? I mean, Aaron Kraft's a big one. Like, when I was younger, I really loved watching him play. Um, so I think it'd be cool to potentially play him. Um, but other than that, I don't really know of too many guys that are playing, honestly. I mean, yeah, for me, same thing. Same thing, Aaron Kraft. Um, I was a big Ohio State guy when I was, like, in middle school. So, like, I think that was probably around the time he was in college, I think. But, like, that whole team really was, like, kind of like people who I used to love watching play. So, I guess them in general. What about what about as you guys have made your rounds in the, in the NBA circles, um, have you guys – ran into anyone or guarded anyone, even if they were on your team, they were like, oh, man, like, this is kind of crazy. Let me take a step back and be like, wow. I mean, for me, when I was in Charlotte, I had to – I got switched on to Kemba a few times in practice. And it, was, it was a nightmare, but it was, really fun. Yeah, it was really fun at the same time. I, exact same thing. Well, maybe with Kemba, Kemba also, right? Because now he's on – or because now he's on yeah, the Yeah, no, with Kemba. Yeah, yeah with Kemba. Training camp, I didn't, yeah, he, he's real quick, <laughs> super quick. Is he, he – is he – because a lot of NBA guys say this too. Is he, like, the toughest guy you think there is to guard in the NBA? But, I mean, like, point guard-wise, obviously, like, KD and LeBron are – and those guys are – that's a, maybe a different level. But, like, point guard-wise, is he one of the toughest guys to stay in front of? I mean, of I, I think so, but I also don't know because I haven't guarded a lot of them. But he's so shifty. You know, he's – He's little, and he can get to his spots on the court however he wants. So I think it's more yeah. impressive that he can finish in the lane over That's seven. what impressed me the most, for sure. Yeah. But no, Kimba's like, I don't know. He's just different, like, with the way he finishes. I've, I've never seen nothing like it at his size. So so, uh, so right now, it, it seems like if you're on an NBA roster to a signed, a signed long-term deal, you can't really play in TBT. And obviously your guys' goal is to impress this summer, make some NBA teams, and be locked in the NBA for the rest of your careers. But let's say you guys are, are bouncing around overseas, G League, stuff like that. Do you think TBT is something you guys would want to be a part of moving forward, just from seeing everything on social media and stuff leading up to this year's tournament? Yeah, for sure. I think just for the point of just making money, extra money, and – being on a scene where you can be seen by a bunch of other people. Um, I think it's good exposure and stuff like that. So I think I'd be interested in it for sure. Long-term. Kaiser, what about you? You disappeared. I don't know where Kaiser I'm, is. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I can still hear you. You got boost mobile. 
Am I back yet? You're back. Yeah. You're back. Okay. Um. Otto, could you repeat what you said? Because like I, everything you happened, I just kind of like, lost my train of thought. Of yeah. He's lost. Basically, <laughs> basically, I said with all the stuff you've seen from TBT and being a part of it so far, do you think it's something you would want to potentially be a part of moving forward in your career? Oh yeah, I think it feels like a great opportunity ahead. So I mean, it's definitely something I'll be open to, given how uh, the rest of the future like holds, whatever. All right, that's a good answer, JP. You, I don't know if you've ever been told this, but especially right now with the Nike hat and the Nike shirt, you really look like a golfer right now. I want to be a golfer, honestly. <laughs> I I went golfing today and I golfed absolutely terrible, so it was really upsetting. Kaiser, do you golf at all? I've been a top golf a few times. <laughs> <laughs> That's not golf, but it is what it is. I tried. I, but I'm not good, though. I, I can't hit the ball straight. Like, I, yeah, but I were can't you, make it go where I want it to go. Were you good at basketball the first time you picked up a basketball? Yes, probably. No, but I was taller than most people when I was a kid, so it was a little easier. <laughs> yeah, but don't you like the challenge of trying to conquer a sport? Yeah. Yeah, I when it's something I like to do. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Hard. It's hard not to break your clubs, though. I, I can only imagine you as a golfer, man. I don't want to be anywhere near you if you hit a bad shot. It's frustrating. You're going to look over at the other hole and be like, hey, man, I don't even know who you are. Stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone you've – JP, and you, you guys can both answer this, but JP, is there anyone you've, you've uh, had trash talk to you by that you were like, all right, I got to stop messing with this guy? No, not really. I mean, most of the times it just ends up with somebody saying, like, shut up, like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you, I'm going to punch you, <laughs> or something like that. And I'll just say, I mean, go ahead. If you really, really feel the need to punch me right now, go ahead. You'll be kicked out. We'll shoot free throws. So it doesn't really – nobody really says too much to me, honestly, other than people that don't play and fans. So. All right. Kaiser, what about you? <laughs> nah. You know, I, I'm not as – I don't think I talk as much as JP does on the court. So, I mean, people don't necessarily talk to me too much when it comes to things like that. Yeah, but if you're wearing the ninja headband too, people might be scared that you're going to, like, karate chop them or something. <laughs> so, that's why they're not messing with you. <laughs> it's, intimi it's an intimidation factor. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's basically, it's basically like wearing a black belt on your head. Pretty much. You can say that. All right, guys. This has been <laughs> this has been a blast. We appreciate you coming on. Before we go, any questions for us for the inside TBT crew? Yeah. Can you send us the the bracket? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely yeah, Andrew, not. I'll uh let me just put this out there to the world. Uh, before we started recording, Andrew, um, it, and his reasoning was to prove that we were legit. Um, started by introducing himself and letting them know that he knows the bracket but can't tell our guests. So that's how we started this. And so now they want to know and Andrew can't tell them. So I will not. do we have a bye? You may or may not have a bye. Thank you so much. That's so <laughs> I appreciate that. I'll tell you this. On Tuesday, you will know if you have a bye or not. How's That's fair. That's fair. By the time this comes out, you'll know who you're playing or if you're not playing anyone or if you have a bye or you guys might not even be in. So we'll find out <laughs> all. We'll find that all out on Tuesday. How, you know, how, hopefully we're at least in. How like bad would you guys be if you did this silly interview with us and then come Tuesday morning, the bracket comes out and you guys just are not even in it? I would just be confused. Well, shit. I'd be confused. But you guys had fun, right? Confused. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was a good time. <laughs> Well, I'll, be, I'll be genuinely confused. You know, we're going to be texting you guys after – we're going to be texting you guys this summer after you get big wins. We're going to be like, it's all because you came on the show. So, For sure. You got a couple of Everline Drive fans over here, that's for sure. I'll text back. I don't know if Kaiser will. I will. You got to let me know who it is. If it's an unsaved number, I might not. <laughs> well, then you got to save me. Andrew. Andrew Podcast Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to save you. Wait, right. Kaiser, um, I asked JP this before you hopped in there, but I got I to gotta say it now. Um, one of my really good friends is Quinn Douglas. You remember Quinn? My dog. I love <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> Quinn is my, my, one of my really good friends in college. It's uh, Quinn's neighbor. So I was like, I always was with Quinn. Scott, oh, yeah, that's what's up. 
He's got the wettest jump shot in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, Quinn's a good dude. I love Quinn for real. Oh, man. Had to give a quick I shot. I miss those guys. All right. Do you guys got any more questions for us? Because if not, we'll, we'll let you guys go. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. All right. Thank you, guys. J.P. McCura, Kaiser Gates, Eberline Drive. We'll see you this summer. Peace yes, out, boys.